Welcome back to Bahamas at Sunrise. Thank you for staying with us. Doctors Hospital has recently launched an infusion center offering high quality specialized care and infusion services. Here to tell us more about it, we're very happy to welcome Dr. Anishka Roll. She's an internal medicine specialist and a rheumatologist with Doctors Hospital Health Services. Good morning and welcome to Bahamas at Sunrise, Dr. Roll. Good morning, Ms. Felicious. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure to have you with us. I'm so excited whenever Dr. Hospital introduces something new. I know it's going to be uh, revolutionary for this part of our country and making sure that we've got access to some new things. So let us know by starting off right away with what is infusion therapy? Well, infusion therapy is simply therapy that is given, med uh, medications are given through the vein, meaning intravenously, and it's done for persons that require medications that need quick action or for patients that don't respond to typical oral medications. This line of service is new for Doctors Hospital because it's an outpatient service, so that makes it exciting. And so it allows for medications that we typically or traditionally could not give other than being hospitalized in an environment that's comfortable for the patient and in a way that the patient can have their autonomy in terms of being able to go home uh, after each session and come back as, in, as needed. So it allows for a lot of different specialties to uh, get their medications and patients without the burden of patients having to be hospitalized, especially during this time of COVID. Yeah, well, that, that must be a relief for those patients um, that would need the service. Can you give us a description of some of the, the types of patients? Um, because obviously you're in medicine, so you can sure. think of this so much more quickly than right. I can. I, I cannot think of any. So please let us know what type of sure. patients would need to go to a place like this. Well, quite definitely, that's not a problem. My, I am, a, I am a rheumatologist, like you mentioned, and so we provide highly specialized medications. Usually, we call them biologics. These medications are special medications that um, uh, uh, usually target immune system factors, mm -hmm. and they typically are traditionally given either IV or subcutaneously, and so patients that have, for example, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, vasculitis, lupus, and the list goes mm -hmm. on in terms of connective tissue diseases and other autoimmune diseases traditionally are given these medications when they have either moderate to severely active disease. But the biologics actually span the spectrum of multiple specialties, including um, dermatology, um, endocrinology, neurology, and gastroenterology for multiple other diseases. So the list goes on. Persons with um, inflammatory, which is an um, bowel disease and autoimmune bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis in the gastroenterology world can use these medications as well. Persons with severe skin disease like pemphigus and psor psoriatic arthritis can use these. And so the, the spectrum is wide for the biologics. But beyond biologics, we also infuse IV hydration and nutrition therapy, for example, electrolyte replacement for those persons that might be low on potassium, we call it hypokalemia, or those persons who might be volume depleted, or simply persons who cannot get adequate nutrition um, orally uh, because of ongoing active infections. Otherwise, we also uh, will infuse blood products for those persons who might be anemic. Um, and that ha occurs for multiple reasons, whether the person has um, autoimmune or inherent or chronic anemia or just active bleeding. And um, we also provide um, long-term antibiotic therapy. And so that's stepping into the world of orthopedics, for example, for those persons who might have osteomyelitis and have to be on antibiotics for a duration of over two to three months. But also during this time, we're proud to announce that we also uh, provide um, the latest therapies for COVID, and that includes uh, the administration of rendesivir um, infusions for those purpose, persons who are at high risk for having a poor outcome, and monoclonal antibodies, which we've been doing both in and outside of the hospital. Wow. Wow, what a list, Doc. Um, and certainly, as you as you called, so many of, of the conditions that many of us are aware of, um, the various types of arthritis, the fact that, you know, there are people that with lupus that can utilize this treatment. I'm sure I became clear to those in need of this, that this might be a, a very good space to be in. 
And and so what I, I want to get a, a better understanding of then is kind of what are the benefits of this therapy more so than anything else. And I think you mentioned one of them before, which is that you no longer have to come into hospital and stay in hospital. Right. This is an right. outpatient service. Exactly. What are, are there any other benefits that we should know of? Definitely. Apart from it being a safe and comfortable environment, you know that you're coming in with very highly trained uh, physicians as well as nurses and that and other staff that you can trust in an environment like that is, again, comfortable. The medications we go through for those persons that are insured a very easily and seamless process to get the medications approved and to get the patients scheduled and registered for the service. And there's significant cost savings for those persons that have um, insurance. The copay is completely waived on getting the medications for those persons who have the LAMP, which is the Loyalty Advantage Membership Program through Doctors Hospital. There's significant benefits to that. And for those persons who are paying out of pocket, the advantages are still significant with a 20% uh, savings as well as a payment plan um, once 60% is deposited. So there's lots of advantages, but beyond those advantages in terms of Traditionally, Bahamians have had to go abroad to seek highly specialized care with these type of medications. That is no longer the case. Many of these specialized medications, which I've had the fortune to uh, be able to uh, treat persons with over the last 15 years, uh, despite the cost issues, we have found a way, like I mentioned, to try to curve or um, reduce that significantly. And beyond that, patients no, need, no, need, no longer sorry, need to travel abroad to get these type of therapies. Um, I think therefore it's a very, you know, it's a new day that will allow us to explore a spectrum of different things that we weren't able to do in the past. And so um, I'm very happy, uh, you know, to be able to be a part of this opportunity to introduce this to the Bahamian public because it is a very needed service. And yeah. so I'm glad for that. Yeah, Dr. Rule, well, this is exciting. And, and for you to talk about doing it for the past 15 years, for it to just be coming here now, it, it, I'm sure it's going to transform the lives of those that need it. For those that do need it, where can they find you? Where are you located? Are you at the main doctor's hospital on Collins Avenue? I know it's a specialized center. And so you've got, you know, the right doctors, the right nurses in that space. Where exactly is it and how can people get in contact with you? Thank you for asking. As you know, like we said, it's a new, so presently we're practicing um, within the dialysis area in the hospital. However, our line will start in over the next month to two months at the Luden building on Dowswell Street. And at that time, we'll have a full service of multiple between four to eight infusion chairs and an environment where persons can either have one or, you know, a uh, well, less so in the COVID environment, but we'll be able to have access to Wi-Fi, be able to watch television, listen to their favorite programs, et cetera. So it's an environment that's comfortable with though the highly skilled um, nurses, doctors, and uh, you know other uh, associates from a doctor's hospital that's able to take care of your needs. And there would be obviously access to uh, emergency services right away if indicated. Yes, excellent. Dr. Roll, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, congratulations to you and Doctors Hospital on this new venture. Congratulations to the patients that have needed this for some time and now have that option available to them. And we just look forward to learning more. We hope you'll join us again when you guys are on Dazzle Street so we can share that information with the public. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. And can I just say that our number is 302-3323 and you can contact us at infusioncenter at doctorshosp.com. Thank you so much for having me. And you're very welcome. You are watching Bahamas at Sunrise and we'll be right back.